Hello, welcome to IT Security Labs. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a honeypot, what a honeypot is, and also what kind of information you can get from a honeypot. I'll be setting up teapot, which is uh, one other example of honeypots out there that are open source. I'll show you how to install the honeypot from scratch, and also we'll discuss what a honeypot is and what can be done from it. So to begin, we have to start by defining what a honeypot is. What is a honeypot? A honeypot is a network attached system. It's usually set up as a decoy to lure or attract attackers to our system. Usually we want to be able to detect or deflect or otherwise just study hacking attempts. So you find that honeypots are either deployed in very large organization or research organization, mostly cybersecurity research organizations, because they want uh, a device that will go out there and just present itself as a potential attack vector for most attackers. So they will just scan the internet and see it there is looks like a low hanging fruit to them. But our main goal is to just gather the information and make sure that by the time an attacker gets in that device, we get a notification about it. We know about them we can study their patterns and behaviors. So that's mostly what a honeypot is used for. And there's different uh, deployment options out there for your honeypot. I borrowed this image from Udacity. As you can see, you can put a honeypot right at the external before your uh, external firewall, or you can put a honeypot anywhere in your network. And there are advantages and disadvantages to that. For example, if you put it out here, right, straight to the internet, not behind your firewall, you are not exposing a lot of your networking information from the attacks. I mean, it's a minimal risk, pretty much, because it's out there. But you will capture the most attacks if you put it out here. If you put it in your LAN, you capture less attacks. But the disadvantage of putting it out there is that if someone is already in your network and is doing stuff, you won't be able to actually capture their attacks. So that's how you deploy a honeypot, and that's what a honeypot is. And I have to put a disclaimer out there that this is for your own information only. I'm not responsible for whatever happens during your attempt to install a honeypot. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go and quickly deploy a honeypot and explore our graphs that I showed you at the beginning. So we will be installing Tport. Tport is a combination of a lot of honeypots, and this is the list of all the included honeypots in Tport. This is an open source project that you can find on GitHub on this location. I have a link in the description below. But uh, we have multiple honeypots that do a lot of different things that also cater to a lot of different attackers. For example, Corey right here is for, mostly for SSH attacks. And if you look at Snare down here, Snare is also uh, just a web application attacks. So, so if anyone is attack, scanning the internet, they're most likely to hook on to one of these honeypots. So now that we know we have multiple honeypots in our teapot, we will then go ahead and install teapot. Please make sure to read through all this documentation, but teapot does come with uh, all these services like Cockpit, uh, Cyberchef, but our most interesting one is Elk, which is uh, Elasticsearch, Logstack, and Kibana. And this allows us to actually create these wonderful, beautiful graphs that you are looking at right now. So that's why I got drawn to this because we have the elk stack and it's wonderful. And to install this, it's very simple and straightforward. We're going to do the auto installation. We're just going to run these commands. What we pretty much do is clone the git, change to the directory where the, clone, the, the installer is cloned to, actually then um, copy it, the conf file, then run the installation. It's very simple and straightforward. The first thing that you're going to need is an installation of Ubuntu. So you, once you have a fully installed Ubuntu server, you are going to need to just run this, this command in a terminal. So I have an 
Ubuntu server installed, it's fully patched and everything is up to date. The next thing you need to do is just go to that site, copy and paste the auto installation. So I'm just going to copy this. This will install everything that we need. We don't need to even think about it. Then we just come and paste. Now I'm just running the git clone again. As you can see, I just installed uh, git. Now my machine knows what git is. So the installation will go on and it's finally done. So let's go ahead and paste it again. Just make sure that everything is out there and it's working. And this shouldn't take long. This will install everything that you need for this lab. You can see it's complaining that I didn't run it as root. So what I need to do is just run the last command. But instead of just running it the way it is, I need to run it as sudo. And there it goes. This will install our teapot. It will install everything that we ever need, including the Kibana and Elk and everything else. So this might take a while and I will just pause it for now and show you guys once it's done. This is the steps that you just need to take. This is a clean installation of Ubuntu. I'm assuming you already know how to install Ubuntu by now. If you have any questions about this installation, let me know in the description below or send me a private message and I'll be able to help you. And while it's installing, I just wanted to emphasize that uh, sometimes you probably don't want to implement this in your house. Go ahead and implement this in the cloud like I am doing. I implemented mine in the cloud. Learn how honeypots work. Just go ahead and do this in the cloud. And as you can see, this is going really fast. A lot of packages are going to be installed and I'll just pause it for a while and and pause once it's done and we'll log into our first Kibana and also show you other services that are running and other wonderful dashboards. So once it's done, it will ask you to reboot. So all you have to do is hit enter and it will reboot the machine. So installation is complete and if you let it go for a while, you should be able to just be automatically signed into your Kibana dashboard. And if you are not, make sure you just go to your IP address up here and also put 64297 is your port and you go straight to Kibana. Once you're in Kibana, you can just go ahead and uh, make sure that you can sign into your Suri cutter. This might take a while for you to see this information, but this is what you'll see once everything is done and set up. And if you let it sit for a few hours, a lot of people would actually come out there looking for the honey, just like the ants would. And they will be attacking your system. You can observe them in real time. Watch them. You can see where they're from. As you can see, you know, so many Africans are attacking systems. But hey, Americans, Europeans, and some Chinese, they are really up there. You know, there are a lot of actors down there. And even South Americans are up there too. You can see the top ones by uh, in Surikara. Hey, the Irish are up there and followed by the Russians, Ukrainian, Chinese, and of course, the UK. So you can tell where most of our attackers are coming from. You can tell them by the IP address, and you can even see by the ISPs, even the AS numbers that they're coming from. So this is really telling. And if you're very interested, you can even go and just look at the real teapot uh, honey pot and see that um, as you can see right here we can attacks by country you can tell that China, Russia, United States, North Korea and Panama are the top ones and our map will also show us where they're coming from right here you can see by port as you can see port 3389 is the most common one followed by 22 well actually 22 is second then uh, port 80 so attackers are looking for those ports and you can see all kind of information like what kind of passwords are they trying you know admin and one two three exclamation and eight i mean this is 
and then the usernames that are being tried you can tell from here that uh, this is kind of information so if you're very fascinated by this information and you really want to know what the attackers are up to this is definitely something to implement it's fun to implement i've been having great time just looking at this these dashboards and also just like you know checking it out and seeing what's out there who is doing what i mean it's amazing it's fun and if you're really excited about information technology if you want to learn more about how the attackers behave and all that this is definitely for you you should definitely try this in your own lab so guys that's it and if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe to my channel i do post most of these videos uh, twice a week i try and if you're very interested in seeing and learning about it security this channel is definitely for you otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video